Hello, this is Daniel Mart. We're at MCFI 2017 with another interview here I have. I am Brooklyn Murphy, actor. Actress. Actor. But, yeah. Okay, and basically we just finished doing some, um, hearing some of the screenplays. She was one of the main um, actors in, and uh, so how did you feel to do some of those screenplays? How did, how did I get to do them? No, how did you, you know, feel, feel while you were doing them? I, I, well, I have a theater background and I've been an actor for 30 years, so... I've never done the screenplay stuff a lot, but it's it's basically a short theatrical performance. Yes, and with your theater history, what are some of the plays you've done before? Oh, the list is long. I've done Abby's Irish Rose. I've done um, Love Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Nice, uh, great movie. Too. I've done plays here in Los Angeles and Atlanta. So, I'm on the theater. Yes, um, and. What's your favorite thing about theater in general? Theater is theater is a pure dramatic art form. That's where acting started back in the days of William Shakespeare. Theater is a good training ground for any actor that's starting and keeping your acting chops tight when you still want to continue to be an actor. It makes you think on your feet, makes you quick, makes you have great improv skills, and it helps you with, you know, projecting as everybody knows yeah you know you got it because if your mics go out all of a sudden you better have a voice and you better go you loud know, go loud exactly yeah so yeah so uh, have you done any films or short films or anything like that yes i've been in 35 films mostly starring roles nice uh, here and in atlanta and some in los angeles nice. have any of them screened here before or yeah i had one screen here last year it didn't it's won like about nine awards so far. I have one showing at the Cannes Film Festival called Prowler. Uh, the one that showed here last year is called The Leap. It's now in uh, Taiwan. Nice. And what else? I just had a movie show on Lifetime Network. It's called? It's called A Student's Obsession. And nice. I play uh, Detective Myers. So. That's All right. Fun. So if you hear anything about A Student's Obsession, Prowler, or The Leap, check them out. I'm going to yeah. assume they're really good. Yeah. They better be. Yeah. And I have Henry with Eric Roberts coming out, uh, hopefully this year. I've heard about that one. Yeah. So I'm, I have a so, big role in that one. Yeah. So, you know, just uh, look out for those. And overall, and you were talking, discussing right now how some, how the year is good for like young actors. What is your advice just in general for actors? Study your craft. Do theater. And then when you're done doing that, study your craft and do theater and read about acting. Watch great actors from the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s to present. It's just like watch crappy films, watch good films, just immerse yourself in film and study different actors because each actor, as you'll see from film to film, they all have their own little style, mm -hmm. you know, they really do. Like Robert De Niro, if you watch a lot of his films, you'll Taxi see he has, yeah, he has his own little style of doing things, but just watch a lot of films and take a lot of classes with a lot of different teachers till you find your own kind of groove yeah. and your own style. Yeah, your own style. Yeah. And then you have a bigger toolbox, so like when somebody throws you a script or a cold read, it's like, oh, what's in my toolbox that I could like whip out real quick mm. to help me get into character really fast? So yeah. that helps. And who would you consider some of the greats? Ooh, the great. You said De, you said De Niro, so yeah, De Niro's a great one. Um, that could be past present. Willem Dafoe, mm. Dustin Hoffman, a lot of the British actors like Jeremy Iron, yeah. Ray Winston, Bre Brenda Blevin. Um, yeah, watch a lot of British stuff. I studied at the Oxford School of Drama, so I'm classically trained, and British style is just more deep so yeah fair enough i mean for me yeah. classic actors since i'm more of, since i watch more american stuff and whatnot for me it'd be like charlie chaplin mm. gene kelly mm -hmm. um i guess lucille ball would fall in there <gasps> love lucille ball i <laughs> um, love her she just died but debbie debbie reynolds debbie reynolds she just yeah. her and her daughter just died the same yeah. like back to back carrie yeah. fisher rep rep her um but yeah mark hamill as well actually mm -hmm. for that logic um here's for you, he's pretty good of Jack Nicholson. Oh, Jack Nicholson, yeah, he's a great. DiCaprio, I'm not gonna. DiCaprio, I love Daniel DiCaprio. Day, Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> oh, that's another one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah. Because he, he could do anything. Yeah, uh, and then just go back to the classics. Um, Buster Keaton, why not? You know? Yeah. And Errol Flynn. Yeah, like, right? when you look at the silent films, I mean, that's like to portray a character without saying a word. That's yeah. that's that's power. Yeah, which is funny, also because Charlie Charlie Chaplin's 
first film, uh, not one of his first films, but his first talkie, The Dictator, um, many people people call called one of the best films ever, and they still, still call him one of the best actors because he was one of the few to transition from silent to talkies very mm -hmm. easily because many of the other ones, like Buster Keaton and Errol Flynn, and mm -hmm. can't remember um, any of them right now, but mm -hmm. to think Tyrone Powers was after the, ta yeah. the talkies. Yeah, yeah but um, they were, they, most of them didn't really transition well, so that's yeah. the issue. Yeah. James Cagney. Oh, love James Cagney. Yeah, yeah that whole era, the the, the mafia era, yeah. the Humphrey Bogart era. Those Humphrey Bogart, that's no great um, actors. Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. yeah, we could go on and on, really. <laughs> okay. Watch movies. Yeah, well, if you have a favorite actor, better yeah. be me though. <laughs> yeah, or me, or us. No, just me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Check it out. Um, now, nah, who are your who are your favorite actors? You know, comment all that time below. It'd be very interesting. I'm actually, for the in the action side. I actually, I like Tom Cruise. So, I yeah. love Tom Cruise. I wish he's he would, an underrated actor. I wish he would do more drama, so because he hasn't done one yeah. since Valkyrie, I want to say. Oh, he was good in that. Yeah, but he hasn't yeah. done in that drama since Valkyrie. Yeah, he's, he's probably retired, you know. Nah, um, he's millions. I mean, he's, he's doing a lot of producing now. Yeah. So. I mean, if we're going with action, go Schwarzenegger, Stallone, oh, De Niro. Bugs. Not De Niro. Um, not De Niro. Uh, who's the other the guy from Die Hard? Um, Bruce Willis? That guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, if you go with he's action stars. Yeah, he's an action guy. Yeah. He's not really no, no. So, anyways. No. So. I know. It's like there's a bug. Really, we're not hallucinating. <laughs> no, we're just improvising. <laughs> <laughs> we're improvising. Yeah. Like, um, have you ever since you just said you're classically trained? Would you have you ever done like Shakespeare? I did. I've done some Shakespeare. Not a lot of it because there's not a lot in Florida, and in general, mm -hmm. in the U.S., there's not a lot of. Ah, this bug is really <laughs> bugging us. Um. <laughs> I've done some Shakespeare. My my audition for Oxford had to be Shakespeare piece. So. Yeah. And what's your favorite Shakespeare book or play? <sighs> the Tempest. Mm. Yeah. It's um, intense. It's scary. It's yeah. It has to do with you know. It's based on yeah. Faust. So if you've never read Faust, it's all about the devil uh. and his tempting. I go for either Hamlet or Romeo and Juliet classics, to be honest, and they're like, you see them all the time, and just yeah. pop culture, to be, to, to be honest, I'm just going to use to it yeah. at this point. Um, so, I mean, overall, it's just like theater, well, b between theater and like film, which one do you think is better? There is no better. It's just two completely, it's like apples and oranges. Yeah. You know? And if you're a theater actor, then you have to retrain yourself to do film mm -hmm. and vice versa, because I came from theater. And when I started getting into film, I'd go to auditions, and I'm so used to projecting that I remember at one audition I was at, the guy had his headphones on, he said, he took them off, he goes, stop, stop, stop. I go, what's the matter? He's like, are you a theater actor? I'm like, yeah. And he goes, well, can you please speak quieter? You're blowing out my headphones. I'm like, oh. So, so theater is big, film is small. Film captures what's going on through your eyes, mm -hmm. theater captures everything yeah so you have to really bring it down or bring it up so. yeah and if you make them sick in theater it's gonna be really hard to come back from it whereas in film you can just like cut yep, cut redo yeah so yeah. so they're both good yeah. depending on you know what kind of actor you want to be but if you want to be a great actor then yeah you start with theater absolutely yeah so i think that's basically it for now okay. uh, really great to have you here thank you um thank you great job at the with the screenplays i really okay. enjoyed them oh, good. and nice. yeah i mean that's basically it for now again we'll have more interviews uh Yay. with some of the other filmmakers or actors or whatever and yeah it's basically it for now daniel mart i'm ecfee with brooklyn murphy and that's basically it for now this All is right. daniel mart signing <laughs> off Bye.